Oh, checking out my sword, are you? Hello everybody, welcome back to more Bloodborne with me, Flick. That's right, I got my stats high enough to actually wield this thing. You might be thinking, oh, isn't that sheath a little bit big for that short sword? Well, no, because it's actually a blade. And it's the same animation as in Demon Souls. Although the attacking style is actually, I think it's the same as Demon Souls, almost frame for frame. It feels familiar, but not from Dark Souls, put it that way. So I've been fiddling with this weapon a little bit. I fought back to where I ended the last episode, as you can see by the blood on me. And the fact I'm missing some of my health vials. I like it. I like it a whole lot. So we're going to see it in action today. And I was kind of looking around about where the hell you're supposed to go. So we know that there's a big house over there that I ran around last time. There's a big enemy at the far side of it. I also had a little look back in the village bit where the pit opened up and I fell into the bit with the crows. There's a path there that leads to like a swampy looking area. But I also noticed as I was running back up here past the NPC we spoke to in the house there... There's actually a path here. And I want to check this path first purely because it's going back towards the direction I was in. My thinking is it might be a shortcut. So that's the only reason I want to do this. I haven't checked it ahead of time. I, I found the the cave here and I thought, oh, I thought it was like a hidden item and I'll just grab it. Who cares? But it's not. It's actually a path. So we're going to explore this. And I'm a little apprehensive because look, there's a pile of bones here. There's also a very steep drop there, so I don't know what's in here. We're going to see, and hopefully I'll get to use this new weapon a little bit on camera. I also have upgraded it with... Oh, there's an item over there. Still no enemies. Need a bit more light, so there's a corpse there. That, that is a corpse, right? I mean, it's not going to come alive if I do... Whoop! No. Alright. So that's just the drop there to my death, I assume. Antidotes. Oh, am I going to be running into anything poisonous? Alright, that is some badly rendered water down there. That's actually the first really pixelated texture I've seen. That's actually a little bit embarrassing. Because the rest of the game has been looking fantastic. I think that might actually be like the moonlight wrongly rendering or something. Either way, I don't like all these bones. Something put them here. I guess we're going to find out what. Please be a shortcut. And please don't kill me two minutes into the video after I've fought my way here rather than just running it. Look out for any traps. More bones. Oh, oh, water. I hate water sections in games like this. As long as it's not Shrine of a Mana, it might not be terrible. Okay, it's terrible. What are you armed with? You're armed with nothing. So you're like a disheveled version, disheveled, sorry, version of those enemies I've seen before. In fact, there's two more over there. One of them's kneeling. Two of them are patrolling. I don't think they're the cause for the bones. They're not aggroed. What's the betting that because they're not using weapons they're going to be faster? Ooh, tier 7 cold blood. Is that a... I mean, the light tends to be showing where I'm to go, right? So that's like saying, here's something of import. It's lit up. I'm not sure I want to tangle with these guys. Well, hang on. The one that's kneeling... We know already that that means they're sleeping, and if I walk slowly past, they don't get up. So I'll aim for walking past the one that's apparently sleeping, and I don't think I go past the patrols of the ones who are awake. Oh, I just realised I'm building up poison. Shit. Alright, well, we'll be going to our antidotes. Or, you know, yeah, they are still on my bar. Hmm. Which means I have to run it. God damn. So this water poisoned you. That's why they look dishevelled. They're poisoned. Uh, well, I just run across there. I'll probably get poisoned in the process. I'm going to wait until that one on the there, the one I'm kind of looking at now, until he's back far enough away, and then I'm just going to do a mad run over to the item. Because if there is a shortcut, I assume... No, but that leads to literally nowhere, though, doesn't it? It's just a doorway. Hmm. I would have to run to get over here as well, and that's going to wake him up. Right, he's walking away. He's not going to aggro from where he is currently, so let's do this. There's something up there. I can't quite get to it though. And I'm slowly poisoned. Good. Hmm. Alright, I'm beginning to think this is not the shortcut I envisioned it to be. So let's actually just go back out. It's an area to remember to explore later though. I was so sure that was going to be a shortcut because of the way it linked back around. It could still be, but I hate poison water areas. So never mind, let's get back to what we're doing. Is my lamp still lit? It is. 
So as I was saying, in this direction there's two ways to go. The house that I ended at last time, and back in the little village bit, there's a swampy water bit. Although now I know the water in this area is poisonous, I'm beginning to think that might also be poisoned, and that's going to be very annoying. So, this big guy is still going to be around here. Shall I try and fight him? I might have the reach required if I use the great sword to not worry about the fact he can almost one-shot me. Are you still here? Yeah, you're still here. I hate these guys. <laughs> these are definitely my least favourite enemy just because they're very fast and they do so much damage. Yeah, they do like force pushies and then they do big flying leaps. I must admit, I still need a bit of practice getting used to the range required for the great sword. I'm not... Oh yeah, and they buff themselves, that's why they do more damage too. That didn't attack him because I lost target. That's a grab. I would hate to think what would happen if I get caught by that grab because it's so slow it has to be like an insta-kill, it has to be. Die! I missed! <laughs> How much damage he did to me with one little tap. Hey, nice. By the way, the transformation attacks for this weapon, I'll demonstrate, they're much slower, but also kind of badass looking. They're much slower than the cleaver I was using, so that's taking some getting used to as well. They also don't have the reach that the cleaver has when you transform it. So yeah, I ran past this area last time because I just wanted to attack the guy who was guarding the gate. By the way, he doesn't seem to have despawned. Uh, sorry, respawned. Yeah, killing him once. I haven't killed him again this time, so... You only need to kill him once and then he stops opening that gate. So that does feel like that's a shortcut. Ah, yeah, this is the kind of area I was looking for. So down there, that's the crow pit I fell in. So this puts me above the little bit of swamp water I saw and he was chucking molotovs, I believe. Yeah, he is. You get down there and play. All right. Oh, God. That gave me a fright. <laughs> oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. We've got a couple more guys. One of them's a werewolf type guy. Yeah, down there is the swamp water bit I found. So I'd rather be above it than in it. That seems like the best bet. So who's going to aggro? You going to aggro? You going to aggro? You've aggroed. Here he comes. I love the attack style for the one-handed sword as well. It isn't the type of swings I was expecting when I used it. Hey, buddy. I just killed your friends. Oh, I know there's no traps because he would have set them off. Oh, there's actually another guy. Oh. Alright, they love throwing their molotovs. You dick. You just say you'll pay for your crimes? Is that what they're shouting at me? What crimes? I wish I knew what was happening. Yeah, about that molotov you just threw at me. Thank you. Alright, now I can take in... So there's the water, it kind of leads off into a distance there. Do I have to go that way? And if I do, does it poison you as you go? There's some of those guys I saw in the aqueduct in the water down there, you know, the ones that kind of vomit on you. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, actually, I can drop down to get an item there, and that skips out some of the water as well. Oh! No, oh, I thought that was a bridge I could kick down. There must be some kind of shortcut here, surely. A ladder to knock down or something? No, there's not, is there? So if I do have to fight my way back here, well, if I have to get back here, I'm not going to fight it because there's way too many enemies to kill just to die again. Alright. Let's drop down and get this item, I guess. No other way to go at present. Well, that's not true. Oh, wow, the lighting down there is turning super weird. Yeah, there's one of those slimy guys. So, is this water going to poison me when I stand in it? Is this water flammable? That's actually something I can check from up here. That did way too much damage, so that water would appear to me to be flammable. If indeed it is water. Well, I know nowhere else to go, so I guess we're just going to run it. And I'll stay on antidotes if it is going to poison me. Let's clear some distance with this first leap. Alright, no poison. Good. Oh, I could have stunned him. What are you guarding? Two twin... Alright, I think I need eight to upgrade this sword again. And the base damage is higher than the cleaver, even though I was kind of specced in the wrong strength stat. 
Although now they're kind of even. And it always happens when I play a Souls game for the first time, I always end up balancing my stats evenly because I'm not sure what works and what doesn't. This seems suspicious. Oh, the gate at the far end though could be a shortcut. In fact it is, that's back in the village. Yeah, this is back in the village. So now if I drop down into the village, I can just take a right here. Alright, shortcut opened. Good. It doesn't save that much time, to be honest. But, it's a start. Stay on the hand lantern. So, a couple more guys up there. One of them's got a shield. They've both got torches. That implies to me that I'm going to get oil chucked at me. Excuse me, good sirs. Have you seen the weather lately. Oh, I got shot. Where did I get? Oh, up there. Alright, we're getting him. I'm coming for you. You bastard. How much health he did with one shot. That's just the same basic gun the other guys had, right? Unable to acquire kicks... Oh! So, I have max on me and I guess I have 99 in my storage. That's unfortunate. I guess I should be using my gun a bit more. At least I know there's some up there for me to get, so nothing back here. Is this just going to be more bullets or is it going to be... Ah, damn it. I'm not getting... Alright, oh, this looks... That's a cannon firing at me. That's, that's what that is. Yeah, okay. So I need to work my way up there without dying to the cannon. Why did that catch me exactly? I also did three quarters of my HP, so that's fun. Right, that seems to be its maximum range, I think. Actually, I'm going to use another one. I need to be at full health here. What is firing the cannon? I don't see anyone standing near it. Right, where do you fire from? That's your maximum range right there. Got it. Fire again. I definitely saw one guy patrolling, but I don't know where anyone else is. Alright, when you fire again, I'll run forwards. Excuse me, you little shit. Who uses a cannon? Right, I definitely saw one guy back there, so... Can I fire at him? Oh, please let me fire at him. It does, it fires like right in front of it. Well, that's good to know. I'm going to wait until I see him, because I definitely saw one guy patrolling down here somewhere. Oh, there's a werewolf dude in there. Oh, there he is, through there. Uh, well, the werewolf guys are a bit more aggressive, so let's handle him. Oh, that's a big mess. Oh, and he's the one who has the... Also, that did not touch me, so, you know, hitboxes. Uh, please lock onto him. You're basically doing the same type of attacks as me, aren't you? Apart from that one. You're not dead. Die. One more for good measure. They're vicious as hell, those guys with the rakes. <laughs> Who'd have thought an enemy wielding a rake would be dangerous? Just dead bodies in there. Slightly suspicious. I think all these little houses were supposed to get destroyed by the cannon, but they didn't. What were you guarding, Mr. Werewolf Man? More of those beast blood bullets I never use. <laughs> Maybe I should be, but I'm not concentrating on using my ranged weapon. I wonder if you really can spec yourself... So the gun isn't just a parry device, or a stun device. Is it possible to spec yourself so that the gun you're using, be it the blunderbuss or pistol or whatever, oh, gun guy, is actually the source of your damage? Well, given that he's there, I'd rather fight him first, so let's lure him out. Hey there, buddy. Oh, god damn. I shouldn't have missed, but it did. Well, this is quite a duel we're having, man with rake. At least it's not a werewolf with a rake. They're worse. I'm using up a lot of health, so... I used up a lot getting here because I chose to kill enemies rather than dodge them. Oh, right, yeah, full bullets because I'm not using my gun. <laughs> you can't use the gun in greatsword form, incidentally, because you're... Occupied with both hands. 
Alright, nothing in here. And the house with the bodies next. Oh, they're alive! There, use some ammo for funsies. Now, where's the body that actually had ammo on it? Alright, body back there and body in here, yeah. So he actually had more than two bullets on him. It's almost like it's encouraging you to use your gun more in this section. Oh, I totally forgot to cover, by the way. I'm wearing the hunter's gear again just because the Father Gascoigne armor doesn't have good base defense. It's better for status resist, like poison but not just base raw defence, and since we're fighting nothing but farmers and stuff here, I thought just having raw defence was better, so that's why I changed back. And I totally forgot to go over the white armour set I picked up, it's not very good. It doesn't even look very good. I'll, I might show you later on, but concentrating on progress for now. So... How do I get up to the upper floor where that item was? Oh, is that a ladder? Oh wait, that isn't a ladder, even though it looks very, very like a ladder. Down into the depths we go then. Right, first things first. Enemies, do I see any? Yep. What is that? Oh, it's a hunter, right? He's got a lamp like I do. This area is essentially pitch black for me. I'm looking on the recording window and it's a little bit brighter than pitch black, but not much. I can only see that enemy because he's got a torch. I can only see the one. So that's the way down to where he is. Fine. Is there any way to get to the upper floor? Where I saw that item sign. Oh, no, that's a hole there. Hmm. If I do go down there, I can't really use my greatsword form because I wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. Do I see any other enemies besides him? I do not. What about out here? What is out here? It's a way down by the looks. Alright. I can get back up here, right? Yes, I can. Good. Okay. That's the only enemy I can see. Is he special? I don't mean, you know, I don't mean that as an insult to the guy. I mean, is he unique? Is he a hunter type guy so he's got a lot of HP and he's dangerous? Definitely target him. How did he... Ah, have I dropped down here? I can't get back up. Oh wait, yeah I can. I don't like that it seems like he's the only enemy. It's suspicious. Oh, I just saw glowing eyes, didn't I? No, I did not. Excuse me, my good man, who's... It's very, very suspicious, this. Actually, I'm going to aggro him from range. This is just... It's too suspicious. Well, okay, yeah, he's special. Yeah, he thinks he's in Resident Evil 4. Okay. So that's why he was hanging around over there. He's different. He is special. Kill it before it can lay eggs. Jesus Christ. Oh, screw it. I'm using the great sword. I don't want to get near this thing. It's more like a Hydra, I guess, but it's very reminiscent of the infected in Resident Evil 4. It's got a lot of HP. Oh, damn. So he does actually attack normally as well. I'm liking the stuns. Oh, God. Please don't one-shot me. No, it's going to poison me, though. It is one-shotting me. That is garbage. That is garbage. One shot from full health. And even if he hadn't done all my health, even though I have like 800 health now, incidentally... The slow poison would have finished me off. Yeah, that's garbage. I should have just kept on throwing Molotovs. Don't like that at all. I hate tacky one-shot grabs. They should not be a thing. And now I need to run back there, but at least I do have a shortcut. But that means going past the cannon again. Ugh. Yeah, that was not... I don't like that enemy. Bad design. There wasn't even a wind-up to it like those... Well, the big guy I fought at the start of the park. There's a very obvious wind-up to what could be a one-shot grab, and that's fine, but there wasn't a wind-up to that. Alright, well, I'll just be running back there then. I'm not fighting my way there. Screw you. 
Especially screw you. So I have to go into the village via the werewolf guy's way, which is up here. Screw you! Screw you! Yeah, screw you with your torch as well. I'm pissed off. So we go down here and then it's the house on the right, I believe. Somewhere around here? Yeah, here we are. Alright, if you run it, not actually that bad to get back. I'm just going to ignore him ideally. Oh, I need full stamina for dodging the cannon. Boom. Screw you. I'm going to call this part screw you. Alright, I'm just going to throw all the Molotovs at this guy. He's not getting near me this time. Oh, shit, he's right there. That's no good. Uh, oil. Hang on. Need to make sure I'm not getting followed, first of all. Right, doesn't seem like it. Ah, uh, excuse me. That was the grab right there. So there was a bit of a lead up to it. It's just that maybe I was so close to him it doesn't matter. Why is, are these missing when I'm locked on? Follow me down here. I bet he has more chance of doing it when he's near death as well. It just feels like something they would do. Fuck you. Alright, let's see what he was guarding. And hope that there's no more of them. So there's a way down over there, and he was guarding a madman's knowledge. Oh, I have a ton of them now that I'm not bothering using because there's nothing at the vendor I need. So, door there, pathway down there. I'm guessing one of these ways will lead to a shortcut and one of them will lead to progress. So that's a bridge. I've never seen a bridge yet, have I? Yeah, no more of those Resident Evil 4 guys, please. Don't like them at all. There's a huge bridge up there. Alright, so that leads to a bridge. Where does the other path lead to? Also, we have to remember we can drop down from that window up there to a lower ledge. Hmm... That floor looks collapsible. Oh, but there's a switch in here, so I guess not. Um, oh. So this is a way out, then. Do I drop out the window? Do I go through there? Let's see what's up here. I mean, I don't want it to be a one-way thing where I have to teleport or something. Oh, let's go for it. Is that an area I've been to over there? I'm trying to see anything familiar, but... Right, nothing behind me. Honestly, not sure. It's a nice view. Kind of. If it wasn't in the middle of the night. So, oh, that's an enemy. That's the worst kind of enemy as well. It's the one armed with the rake. Oh, wow, I got an extra bit of height because I went up over the box. Which was not on purpose, incidentally. Oh, I should have used the health. I'm actually missing, missing quite a bit. Also forgot to mention I ruined in a thing, so you see that new icon that's next to the pebble? That means if I'm at full HP I actually do more damage, and the other one is just I have like a 1 HP tick of regen every like 4 seconds. It's, it's not helpful really. It's more a case of I have nothing better. So that's just a death drop, but we have this ladder here and I have to take it because there's literally no other way I can go. This will actually lead around to the roof, right? So this is how I was going to get the item on the far side, I think. I maybe should have killed the cannon guy. Oh, right. here we are. Dark room. Oh, that's right, I don't have my lamp lit. Ah, we're in the rafters then. Okay. 
can I get across to this item without killing myself? Another door there. Poison knives. Oh, that could be an effective way to take out those Resident Evil 4 guys as well. <clears throat> While we're on the subject, just turn the lantern on. There we are. I see blood that I did not cause. There has to be an enemy here. I mean, come on, there's blood everywhere. Oh. The <clears throat> Pardon me. Sorry, I've got a very sore throat. New type of enemy right there. I can't lock on. Is that an NPC? Oh, it is. All right. Oh. Blimey. Don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Funny you should say that. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you were a hunter, then would you know of any safe haven? Oh, right. Yeah, I'm sending everyone to the chapel this time just to see what happens. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I can't very well stay out on my own. Oh, you're giving me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. It's all I can offer us, thanks. He murdered this family, including that child, right? I think I may have just made a horrible mistake. Thank you. It's about time. But he's the most normal sounding NPC I've found so far. Look at his hands, though, and all the blood around. If he didn't kill that family, he was definitely at least looting the child when I got in over here. I didn't see it. Uh, I think I made a mistake. Oh, there's the cannon down there. And the guy who normally uses it. Oh, he moved. I see. More poison knives. So the only way down, then, has to be just dropping down here because there's no other way. All right. Sneaky, sneaky. Revenge for the cannon. Oh. Revenge! No health. Okay. Alright, that leaves us the one way to go. We are approaching the end of this episode, actually, but I'll very quickly... Well, we could pick it up from the bridge onwards, couldn't we? I did a lot here. Found a new enemy type that's probably going to become regular from this point on, and I'm really not looking forward to it. So, how do I spot them? They've got, like, uh, bandaged faces, I guess? And I'll try and remember and go back to the cathedral next time at some point to see, you know, if that guy's going to murder anyone or something. But yeah, we're going to end off here, and next time we'll be heading in this direction. I hope you enjoyed. Please do leave a like if you did to show your support to the series, and thank you for the amount you've shown so far. My name has been Flick, and until next time, ta-ta for now.